Hey guys, this is Nikita Sivakumar, and today we're going to be talking about what is exocytosis. And before I start, I just want to clear some doubt that I might have not cleared before about cell transport. And so this whole topic of diffusion and endocytosis and exocytosis and osmosis is all is all just cell transport, transporting particles and molecules within and um, like in and out of the cell. And so within that is active and passive transport. Ooh, I forgot the E. And passive transport. And so an active transport, all transport requires energy. And in passive, it does not. Um, and I just put the squiggly line for energy right here. So and um, within active transport, is exocytosis and endocytosis, which I discussed earlier. And within passive transport is um, diffusion and osmosis. So I might have not, um, like I might have not made this as clear before, and I'm sorry about that if I didn't, but um, so yeah, this is just a slight tiny review before we start exocytosis. So let's go ahead back on topic and start our deck um, our dictionary definition discussion of exocytosis. And our definition is the process in which a vesicle containing a large particle fuses with the cell membrane and in, in order to remove the particle from the cell. And so um, note, it's removing the particle from the cell, which is the exact opposite of endocytosis. And um, and you, uh, you might have noticed this earlier, but the la, the root, endo, is the opposite of exo. Endo means inside. And as you can assume, exo means outside. And I don't know if I can fit this in. There's just a tiny amount of space, but um, here. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Okay. Outside. Okay, so um, yeah, exocytosis is removing particles from the cell, and um, so so this definition is a little confusing, and it definitely needs an example. So let's go ahead and talk about our example. So here we have the cell and a large particle right here, and so this particle needs to go out, and obviously if a if a particle is being removed, we're going to be using exocytosis. So, so how does it work? Well, I mentioned a vesicle containing a large particle. So what ha what needs to happen is a vesicle needs to enclose, um, enclose the large particle. So here is our vesicle, and it's slowly just engulfing the large particle, and it has to slowly inch its way towards the cell membrane. And I said that the vesicle fuses with the cell membrane and then removes the particle. So 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 slowly, what happens is the vesicle starts coming towards slowly just starts coming towards the cell membrane and here I have actually drawn that where it has come near the cell membrane and so what happens is this it sort of like fuses with the cell membrane like that and then there's this whole like star kind of fuse you know and then what happens is the it slowly kind of opens up an opening for the particle to be released and it slowly just removes, slowly just removes and discharges the particle out. And then, and then the cell is free of this large particle. And um, this does, this whole action requires energy. The whole fusing required energy. So that's pretty much what exocytosis is. It's just a vesicle slowly coming and enclosing on a large particle that needs to be removed. And that large particle and the vesicle slowly makes its way to, well, not slowly, it, it just kind of just floats down to, um, to the uh, cell membrane and it fuses with the cell membrane and slowly just makes the opening for that, um, for, the, for the large particle to be discharged out of the cell and that is what exocytosis is and um, so hopefully that was a um, that was a helpful explanation of exocytosis and hopefully my little beginning review might have um, cleared some doubt about cell transport and what is the relationship between you know 
all of these terms of diffusion and, you know, endocytosis and exocytosis and what that has to do with active and passive transport in general. But, um, so thanks you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and, um, thanks you. Bye.